basically. I'd say this is probably our least prepared show ever. Is so it? It's, so it's, probably uh, it's, it's, it's up there. It's up there with <laughs> top, with the greatest top five unprepared shows. There are some topics though. Haven't we done a show before where we were just like, we have nothing. We're gonna, we did. <laughs> But that might have been because we were like jet lagged from Computex or something. Or yeah, some use, some good excuse for not being ready and being tired. And you just had a baby. Yeah, and you know I'm your close friend, so I feel like I had a baby too. So that's my excuse. I get to it pick, is. I get to piggyback off of your excuse. It okay? is hereditary, so it's contagious. That works. Um, we're live. Oh yeah, we're live. Hi, hi everyone, and welcome to Awesome Hardware. Wait, I, I remember how this goes. Yep. This is a live show. Uh, we usually talk about technology and computers and stuff. We drink some beer, uh, mm. responsibly, of course. We do. Uh, we occasionally use adult language, so watch out if we swear. And Marriage. we stream every Tuesday evening at 5.30 p.m. Pacific time. We're a little late today, sorry. A little late. Uh, but, you know, that's kind of traditional, too. We're worth it. And uh, first half of this episode, number 188, uh, is on my channel, Paul's Hardware. Second half is going to be on uh, Kyle's channel, Bitwit. That's linked in the description. Or you can watch the whole damn thing on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Awesome Hardware. Thanks for joining us, everyone who might be here and watching us live. We love and you. also, a big thank you to our uh, awesome moderator, Cell. Thank Cell you, Cell. Processing. He's, he's there in chat, and he's, uh, he's a good person. Fundamentally, he's the best. good, decent, and wholesome person. Also, also incredibly evil. Well, he's a, he's a dichotomy. He's... He's like a yin and yang, um, depending on. He is the universe. Depending on the season, I don't, I don't, I don't remember how how his uh, his his powers work, but <laughs> his menstrual cycle. All right, today's today's show is going to be uh, <laughs> blessedly brief. We do have a little, a few things to talk about, but uh, as Kyle already mentioned, I am a recently new father, uh, as of uh, a little over two weeks ago. And I have a baby, infant, no, a newborn, I guess, right now. And uh, she wakes up every few hours, <laughs> cries, poops, pees, something like that. We get up to take care of it. So lack of sleep uh, for has caused me to generally be bad at everything now. Um, so that, and I'm trying to deal with that and transition into this new phase. Of Do you know how to build a computer anymore? Paul? Vaguely, I like. Are you, are you, when are you switching to Max? I was potentially going to do a video on Monday. I, I am still filming the odd video here and there, trying to keep things up with my channel. And uh, I, I, I had sort of a build, a build, or a work on a system set up the other day, and I just didn't. I was like, no, it's too intimidating. Instead, I just, <laughs> I just cleaned. Like, you, got, you got one of those awesome videos of me cleaning coming up. It's, I can understand. It's gonna be this. great. Point being, the content on my channel has never been stronger. So thank you all for watching. Hell yeah. Let's, uh, oh, oh yeah, let's quickly, this stupid keyboard, <laughs> let's quickly plug, I'm going to yell at the keyboard every time. Wait, which, which media, which, which ones are media keys? F1 through F4 or standard F1 through F4, F5 through F12 oh, are media keys, that's so media keys by, by default. default. And you got to press function, function to, for the to get to FD. the F7. And oh. I, I usually use F7 and F8 to switch, uh, switch scenes. Why would they do that? Because you, your, because your Ogato Stream Deck, although it is plugged in, still is not yet set up. And it works. That would no, it doesn't not until you set it up. What do you mean? This. this. Oh, oh, Elgato, that. The Elgato. Oh, right. Well, I have an the, Elgato capture card as let me, well. Right let me now. press the function. We're using an Elgato again. capture card, so I thought that's. Oh what yeah, the capture card. I'm trying to bring no, yeah. up the Stream this Deck the stream over deck, here. Right. There it is. Yes. Right. See, default still. Well, now if we're, if I'm going to continue using that keyboard with its awful key layout, then I think the Stream Deck, yeah, I think I need to actually. We, we got to show it. people which keyboard we're we're talking trash on. It's, it's a, a really nice keyboard. I it really is, like it. Looks it. nice. It's, it's super just a poor design. Super decision. sexy. This is an ASUS ROG. I don't know. Oh, it's a sample, so it doesn't say. The switches feel really nice. I think they're Cherry MX. It looks red. cool, and I I've, I need to pull it over more. All right, can you guys even see it? There. ROG Strix Scope. Oh, the scope. I hope this isn't under NDA. I don't think it is. They just sent this to me. They just sent this to me this week. Uh, <laughs> Maybe it is then. Who knows? No, definitely yeah. not. If it is, you didn't see it here. Anyway, I'm sure it's awesome in every other way, but I really, did, I really don't like that decision with function. For anyway, it, it got an IF Design Award. Clearly, the people behind IF didn't mind the, the function key. Well, obviously, that's like if. 
if it <laughs> got a design award. If you then, fixed this shitty part of yeah. your keyboard, you would have got if a they real award. Word. That. Um, word. What the to hell was mother. I talking about? Um, our stores. Stores. Function F8. Uh, our stores. Function F8. PulseHardware.net for my store. Check it out. Buy stuff. Uh, Kyle's store is bitwit.tech slash store. Do the same there. It's all real nice. Okay. Do it. Uh, moving on Do to it. some technology news. Okay. I have just uh, the briefest smattering today. We're starting off with some interesting, I thought interesting news. So we're expecting very soon some at least announcements, if not launch, of AMD's uh, Ryzen 3000 series processors. Based yes. on Zen 2 architecture, micro architecture, uh, 7 nanometer manufacturing process. Mm -hmm. See, my brain's not completely fried. I can, oh, yeah. I can still say some of these things. Uh, You're all there. But the, a lot of question because we're still using the AM4 socket on, on these new motherboards for these new processors. So the processors are backwards compatible, or so we are, are told. But mm -hmm. what functionality will work one way or the other? And um, potentially good news here for people who bought like decent. Wait, I see I'm pressing wrong buttons again. Where'd it go? Ah, okay. Uh, people who bought decent, like, AM4 motherboards, you might be able to pop a Ryzen 3000 ser series CPU in there and also get PCI Express Gen 4 support. Hello. PCIe 4.0, which is this going to be one of the first platforms that has that. Uh, this article's from Anantech. They released uh, some BIOS updates for their existing X470 and B450 AM4 motherboards. Uh, they are specifically to support these new Zen 2 and Ryzen 3000 series processors. Uh, Anantech went ahead and updated their Gigabyte X470 Gaming 7 Wi-Fi, flashed it to the latest F40 firmware, and found this little screen that says PCIe slot configuration. Apparently you can switch to back to Gen 1, which, which uh, is useful. Very useful for those of you. Maybe for benchmarking. Um, but you, you got Gen 4 in there, so you can, you can pop in Gen 4. Uh, you would have to have an actual Ryzen 3000 ser series CPU installed for support for that, but it does sure. seem like uh, there's potentially some backwards compatibility going through there. That's pretty cool. This has not been officially confirmed by Gigabytes or by any other uh, motherboard manufacturer or by AMD. So I guess still a bit of grain of salt there, but it is something that's in the BIOS and they usually don't do that yeah. unless it is going to be a thing in some way. Um, Four current motherboards in the market, according to the article, it would depend on how they're built because PCIe 4.0 specifications state that the traces, the, 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 the connections between the CPU and the slots need to be a, a minimum length. They need to be short enough. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they probably have signaling issues and can't maintain higher frequencies or anyway. Uh, so that would mean that it is, it is probable but not confirmed that some existing X370, B350, X470, and B450 motherboards uh, might get support for this with the new processor, of course. Huh. So cool. Um, I've done lots of build videos over the past few years with 300 series and 400 series AMD motherboards. And one of the reasons I like to recommend it is because of the upgrade path. And for a lot of people who might have initially jumped on with uh, maybe a Ryzen APU like a 2200 or a 2400, uh, or maybe like a 6-core, then when these new CPUs come out, it would be pretty stinking cool to just be able to buy just that CPU and pop it in and go from a 6-core 12-thread to a, you know, a much faster 8-core 16-thread, or even better, you know, a 12-core or 16-core or something like that. Yeah. And if this is true again, then it would mean that they're potentially not locking out that PCIe 4.0 functionality to sell the 500 series motherboards, which you could totally see them doing because we've been trained by Intel to think that they're going to do the dick move rather mm -hmm. than provide more support down for, for people who already own hardware and not try to force people to buy new stuff. Right. So cool if they do this. Again, still not 100% confirmed, but this was the most interesting thing that I saw as I frankly prepared for the show in the past <laughs> hour. Uh, Definitely sounds more like an AMD thing to do than an Intel thing. Yes. Uh, sure. And then that is something that, you know, that's one of the great things about having AMD kind of resurgent and, and being competitive again is one of the things that they have done pretty consistently is provided things that Intel typically locks out at, to much higher price points, like mm -hmm. unlock CPUs for overclocking 
and other stuff too that I can't think of right now because my brain. <laughs> uh, my brain. Kyle, yeah, you, can, great. you can think of something, right? Um, yeah, sure. Yeah, of course. Well, I, I think uh, I, I'm sort of the same way as you when someone is looking f to me for advice on building a new system for gaming and they have a limited budget. Usually it's a fixed budget, right? Like most people. And uh, I almost always, always recommend a Ryzen platform specifically because of the upgrade path because most of the time you want, if, if, if gaming's your MO, you want to dump most of your money into your GPU as opposed to your CPU. So maybe you can't afford a blazing fast balls to the wall CPU, but that's okay. Most games are GPU bound anyways. Spend the most you can, buy the, buy the nicest and fastest graphics card you can afford. And even though maybe you might see a little bit, maybe your CPU might not be completely up to snuff. Maybe it, it falls uh, somewhat into the, the bottleneck category. Uh, you can still upgrade it down the line and, and eventually, you know, balance the parts a little bit better. Um, you're still going to get pretty decent gaming performance even with like a Ryzen 5 processor, for example, if you pair it with, say, an RTX 2070 um, or even an RTX 20, uh, 2080. But, uh, but yeah, I think it's a great option. Um, it's incredibly flexible. It doesn't lock you in. And replacing out the CPU and doing a quick BIOS update is so much simpler just from a hardware perspective than having to swap out your motherboard that's literally connected to everything else in your system. So I do appreciate that too. But hopefully we will be getting many more answers to a lot of questions about this stuff like really soon because Computex is, is like right around the corner. Couple it weeks, is. couple weeks away. Wait, it's like one week, what a week and a few days away. A week and a few days away now. It's too close. Uh, Kyle's going. I am not. I'm staying home this year because of the baby. Lucky. But uh, I will. I'm going to be doing some, uh, you know, some sort of compilation videos. Probably steal Kyle's whatever Kyle's video and like uh, reuse it without his permission. <laughs> um, Sounds like a great plan, actually. But yeah, I, I'm gonna. What I, I'm gonna try to sort of d eat the. Computex news and digest it and then sort of process it into something that you can then consume That's probably sounds, honestly way more effective sounds, and efficient than yeah. actually going there and being so Frantic and having a million thoughts through your mind and being super stressed out as you're running from booth to booth 15 times a day Like your content is probably going to be better than any of the, the people who are actually there including mine I'm gonna try to take more focus. I'm gonna try to take advantage of that. Yeah, but you have the baby uh, handicap as well. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> that's that's true for now until forever. <laughs> but what was I going to say? What was I going to say? Oh, I I am planning on going back. Like I really do enjoy going to to Computex every year, even though yeah. it's Taiwan and like the worst possible time <laughs> when it's here. just hot and humid yeah. and really uncomfortable if you go outside. I really like going. Uh, and it's one of those events that I've been doing for a while now. So I'm going to miss it, but I'll, I'll be back. Even if my regurgitated stuff this uh, this year does super awesome, um, I'll probably... Anyway. <laughs> Taiwan What's next? Stuff. Taiwan. Um, you have uh, Microsoft Paint? Yes. Wow. MS Paint okay. is getting an update. As, as you can see, really? we started on a, a somewhat interesting story, and it's quickly going downhill. <laughs> I think this is the highlight of the of the week. I think this is very interesting. MS Paint, which all of you use all the time, every day. Uh, you know, it's available, been available in Windows for since time immemorial. And Microsoft had said that they were going to get rid of it. It was going to be deprecated, so they say in future Windows 10 updates. Uh, but a bunch of people were like, "No, I like Paint. <laughs> it's useful all the time. I use Paint. I mean, for something you need to." copy and, and drop in real quick, um, it's, it's useful. There's a huge artistic community that uses paint as well. Artistic, yeah, like not only, autistic. Only, only paint. I saw some guy draw like a photorealistic image of Thanos in MS Paint. And it, it looked like a movie poster. It mm. was like, it looked better than the CG and in freaking Endgame. Ah, it was really impressive. That's high praise. I'm getting called by a sandwich bakery at the moment a vietnamese sandwich bakery i have no idea why just thought i'd point that out i i just never answer my phone ever it's, it's no i don't either it's so useless it. and horrible yeah like it wasn't my mom or my wife. who would have thought that you know everyone has such quick easy access to phones now in your mm -hmm. pocket ready and the one thing that the phone originally did it's like it's so horrible yeah. with with because you don't you never get calls from people no. Or from people you want to talk to. It's True. all it's all spam. spam trying to sell you stuff. It really is. Some sort of list. It's just another 
mailing list, yeah. Just, you know, just um, a way, to, way to penetrate our faces. MS Paint, though. MS Paint. Uh, how are they updating it? It's, they're, they're, you can use the arrow keys to move around. That's, that's really... <laughs> Use the arrow keys to move the on-screen cursor. What? Use the space bar to activate the tool. They're adding, because normally you, you got to use the mouse. Not, yeah. not everyone can use a mouse easily. So as an accessibility option, ah. uh, you can now use the keyboard controls as a primary input mechanism. It's more precise. Yeah. We have here this gorgeously rendered desert landscape oh, uh, vista, wow. which was created with only keyboard controls as part of Microsoft's validation testing, obviously by one of the artists on their team. That is, I, I want that hanging up in my house. It's transfixing. I'm, I'm transfixed. Uh, also, they have some general enhancements to the way Paint interacts with screen readers, such as Windows Narrator. More accessibility options. Can you just say, Narrator, draw me a desert? And Probably, yeah, and that's, that. what, that's what it does. That'd be nice. I would, I would imagine. Just uses that deep, would be my expectation. Learning. All right, let's move on here. Lastly, cool. For news, I have here a horror story, mm. a horror story, not not a horror story. If that in case, in case you misheard me there. <laughs> well, it's a horror story about uh, a horror. This it's is, a horror horror story. Yeah, you're right. Uh, this is written up over on uh, the subreddit asshole design because that's where the post was posted that got a lot of attention. I originally saw this on Reddit. It's incredible. I'm sorry. I originally saw this on Twitter because uh, that's where Mumbo Jumbo, who is a YouTuber does Minecraft videos. He does some other stuff too. Um, but I like I went on a random time where I was... Remember when I got the Xbox One and it had Minecraft on it and I started playing and then I was like, oh, this sucks. I, and, I, and I installed it back on the computer again. And I was yeah. playing Minecraft like sort of briefly. I, yeah. I forget when that was. But uh, I started watching Mumbo Jumbo videos. And he's... It's, it's, they're really entertaining. He's got such... He just has such a sort of light... Personality, like he's, uh -huh. he's very easygoing and you know, he goes around in Minecraft and does stuff. They have, he has a series called Hermitcraft. Um, but okay. he, he posted this tweet uh, A company is systematically copyright claiming every video I have ever made, despite me owning the rights to all music used in them. Please tell me I don't have to manually dispute all 1800 claims. Of course, you do. We have. Uh, this is YouTube we're talking about. They're not going to make anything easy for the creator in this case. Oh, geez. oh Jesus Christ! I was yeah, just trying that's, to. That's him. That's. I just book. wanted to give a quick gander his channel. Um, yeah, I mean he's got, a, he's got a huge following. Or I'm sorry, eight, eight hundred. Oh, that's. Oh, this is a Hermitcraft channel. channel. That's not. Here we he's go. Three point one one million su subscribers. Um, strong, strong channel. So yeah. Very big. Uh, here, here's his Twitter. Thick, thick boy. As well, and this goes back earlier. He made a video uh, talking about the copyright system as well. Apparently, they kind of cut off, but about 25% of his content is claimed. He is now in contact with YouTube. So, um, uh, this got a decent amount of traction. Like, the people were talking about this because he is a fairly big YouTuber. And I think for a lot of people, like me and Kyle, uh, you see something like this and you're like, oh my gosh, that could so easily happen to me. Mm -hmm. The fact is, for doing a, uh, a content ID claim, um, once you have enough subscribers, you have access to that. I have, I have access to the system. I can go and it will tell me all of the videos that I've ever made where it has flagged other videos with content ID that have used what it recognizes as my content. I can bulk uh, flag all those videos mm -hmm. and you have the option. You can say, leave the video up and monetize, but the monetization goes to me now. Or you can take you can take the video down. I think is one of the options. Right. And then, whoever the, whoever put that video up that was claimed, then they get an email, and then they go in and they can dispute it. But when you're disputing them, you can only do it one at a time. Mm -hmm. And it's about five or six clicks to, right. to get through. And you have to click the thing and say okay. And you have to type a little thing that says I own this content yep. for whatever reason. Um, so I've gotten some recently. I got I had some old ad rev. Uh, audio micro music that was getting picked up um, in some of the videos. I just went and individually disputed all of those, and thankfully most of them were released. Mm -hmm. um, something like this, it's like you can't do that. Or, I mean, yeah. you could, but how much of your time, which you should right. be spending making videos or otherwise, yeah. is then being, you know, used in that way? Right. Especially when you know that the company that did that. Uh, I did not need to invest that much time yeah. in putting those claims up. Th this is when, this is why I say like an MCN is like a lifesaver. Because if you, if I brought this to full screen, which is, you know, my MCN, it's your MCN as well, 
they would they would for the most part they would take care of this now it mm. kind of sucks because if you're a smaller channel you don't get as much support sometimes you don't get like a one-on-one -on -one, you know uh person like helping you out but um when but it's usually the larger channels who are getting attacked in this capacity anyway so mm. If that happens to you, the MCN has been really helpful. It's like, okay, they're taking a cut of my earnings every single month. And a lot of times it seems like they're just, you know, taking your taking your dose, giving off the top for, for nothing. But when shit like this hits the fan, you're really thankful that you have them. It's kind of like having insurance. Like, ah, nothing bad's going to happen. But then every once in a while, something bad does happen. It's nice to have that, that support system, mm -hmm. legal team and all that stuff. So uh, just uh, a quick thought. He, so his most recent update is that it's apparently... Uh, a song he has that he has been using that he has permission from the artist, but the artist uh, used a sample that was picked up by Warner's content ID bot. So, so there you go. Hmm. And his lesson is not only should you ensure you have complete rights to the music you're using, but also ensure that you ask about any samples that have been used. Uh, otherwise, Jeez. you can be in that situation. So, it's so small like that. And, and I guess Rocky. that would be another potential... Um, like, so Kyle and I both are both with full screen full screen gives you access to epidemic sound that's the music content platform and that's where i get uh, pretty much all the music that i use currently um so all of that should be clear <laughs> you uh, think? but you know there is a possibility that somebody who makes music for epidemic sound could use something that was picked up otherwise one of the really annoying things that's happened to me is it's an old track that was used yeah somebody a couple exactly. years later uses that track and like sings over it or something and sort of makes a song with it and then they start claiming other videos that use the original track that's right that has happened to me and that's really annoying. especially because the song they made with the track was horrible like it's just <laughs> so bad um anyway though that's uh that's all i got <laughs> that's good that's good i hope he works it out yeah um, me too mumbo jumbo Oh, mumbo. Uh, all right, so that's all I have for my sort of prepared content for today, but we're going to do cool. a little, little Q&A. Okay. Um, Take so, some uh, so don donations? Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's answer questions that have been asked in chat. Papa Q, 100 uh, Danish krona, yeah. I think. DKK. Uh, I think Democratic Korean krona. We'll just say 100, 100 dick. Congrats, Paul. Okay. Are Hero and Nori okay with your baby girl being all noisy and demanding attention? That's a good question. How are the, uh, yeah. how are the pups, puppers handling all this? I've been asked that several times. Fortunately, so far, it's all been good. good. Um, excuse me. My dogs have uh, some triggers that get them barking pretty loud. Most of the time, they're pretty quiet. Mm -hmm. But every once in a while, they can kind of go off. Sure. Uh, fortunately, she, our, my daughter Hannah does not react to that. They just... Uh, that's good. Yeah. That's really good. So so that's cool. Um, and when she cries, which she does sometimes as well, which can also be quite loud, they mm. don't seem to mind that mm. either. So that's, awesome. that's also cool. Um, well, I see a question in chat right now from Hit the Vape, uh, who's asked if there's any update with giveaway items. Uh, the giveaway items have been given away. <laughs> No, that's, that's I, what I took a little bit longer to follow up on that. It was very, this is a very dragged out 1 million subscriber thank you giveaway that I've been doing. But actually today I was able to spend some time and work on those. So all of the currently claimed prize winners have had their info sent to vendors who will be sending prizes out. I just shipped out today and went and dropped off the, uh, the computer build in the, in the, in the Dr. Zaber Century 2.0. Uh, that I put together. That was the that was the first prize. Uh, it's a nice giveaway. system. Yeah, so that that got shipped out today. There's still one prize that has not been claimed. It was prize number five, and uh, the dude was supposed to get 24 hours to claim it, but he actually got six days because you know how on top of things I am right now. Um, mm -hmm. But he never responded. So I told I emailed him today and said, "Sorry, I'm picking again. Picked a new winner. Did the tweet for that and and everything. And then the guy." The original winner uh, did contact me back. So I am going to see if the new winner responds, which they now, they have 24 hours to do. Mm -hmm. And if they don't, I think I might go back to the original winner just because it's somebody who's who I've responded to. Any, they were also very nice. I have to give them credit for that. They weren't, they weren't like, 
oh that sucks or whatever he was he was very just like you know uh, i i forget exactly what he said but he was he was cool about it and, and um, stuff. so I, I i appreciate that yeah um but anyway Cool. Yeah. Uh, any, any, any uh, we got a couple more here. MB67, $13.37. Car mods are finished for now, so awesome hardware donations are more consistent. Cheers, Paul, and nice. once again, congrats to you and Mrs. Paul's hardware. Thank you, Mike. Beautiful. And cheers uh, to you as well, sir. Yeah. Much appreciated. I hope the, uh, the car mods are, are treating you nicely. Hope you dig them. Car mods are fun. And have you seen any of his pictures? Um, not of the car mods. I think maybe once uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, he might have shown one with us. His uh, shared one. Because he did, he did a wrap on his, on his yeah BMW. yeah it was a wrap. I think it was like purple kind of kind of a shiny purple. Yeah, it looked, re looked really good. It's very. I like purple. It's just, purple's a nice. It used to be my favorite color when I was younger because it's the type of color I feel like I've only seen paint cars painted that color in uh, like GTA. You can get all those <laughs> all those weird different uh, right shimmery or like versions. an auto. It's a car wrap. Show. It's a wrap though, but. Um, yeah. It's like a super pro wrap, so... Oh, yeah. Wraps are great. Um, protect your car, too. The, uh, open Actually very functional. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, let's, uh, let's go to Show Next Show. $5. No comment. Thank you, Mr. Show. Yes. Glad you like the show. Thank you very much. Scott F. Everyone put F in chat for Scott. No, it's, it's probably just... Scott F initial. to pay respects. 825... 825, 8.25, 82.50, dot etc. is a lucky amount in my family. Oh, okay. I pass this luck onto your fam, especially your LO. Congrats and welcome to fatherhood. Especially your LO? Capital Did L. Do you mean SO? I mean, S the L's very so far away from the S on the keyboard. You're right. I don't know what LO. I pass this luck onto your fam, especially your for LO. Especially little your one. little one. Little one. Little one. Yeah, yeah, chat. chat is a major. I love, I love how chat can make you feel smarter. Chat right? is like having really Game things. Shark yeah. in real life. <laughs> That's true. They just tell you it's things. Amazing. And you know them. Ah, thank right. you though, but thank you. I, I I take all the luck. Oh man. Loves loves the luck. That's that's cool. Eight two five. You know, eight's my lucky number. Um, because when I was in elementary school, we each were assigned a number based on when our name came up in our roll sheet, and I was eight. You know, my last name is Hanson, so H, I guess, whatever. So eight was always my lucky number. This, meaning that this show is technically, should be my luckiest show that we've ever done. Because it's got two eights in it. Yeah. And I won't have another show this lucky until episode 888. So. Well, I we had episode 88 before. Right, that's true. And, but, yeah, I guess that's true. I guess this is the, it's tied. This is tied for first. Yeah, it feels 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 lucky because I mean we haven't planned the show really at all, and I feel like it's going pretty well. It's got to be that second eight, you know. So you want work? You want a random kind of lucky thing as well with dealing with last names and stuff? What's that? Sister, all right, so completely didn't realize this. I just had a daughter. You did. Her name's Hana. Mm -hmm. Starts with an H. My sister was messaging me about a gift we were getting for my mom, having the initials of all of her their granddaughter or grandkids on them. Mm -hmm. My sister's kids are Evan and Ian. My last name is Heimlich. Right. First three letters are H E I. Hannah, Evan, Ian. So, and I just uh, completely. Not intentional that that happened that so way. So you need him. L so she was. She, she sent me a picture of it with, a, with this little thing, and it has these right. little, little initials on it. I was like H E I. It's like it's starting like, to spell out. Yeah, your it's like last it's name. kind of like it's spelled in the last. Anyway, it was just. There used to be five more grandkids. All that's named what I'm saying. Those. So my my other sister who just got married on Sunday. Uh huh. She needs to have five kids. <laughs> spelling the rest. <laughs> spelling that's her. That's well, on what her. What does that mean? Like you can't have any more. Your other sister can't have any more. You guys are you guys are done tapping out already. Come on, yeah, it's just yeah. begun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking, it's over. You're man. asking me this like within within, <laughs> within two like or three two, weeks, two of, weeks of, 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 one, of my wife being born. <laughs> so when's um, the next one? Yeah, I mean, you got it. You got to yeah. ask those obligatory, annoying questions. True. But I hope I hope you guys get there. I hope she pops out. I hope your sister pops out five kids well, uh, and spells out Heimlich. From all my, because I've seen I was seeing relatives and, and everything recently, and they all say, like it's pretty common for kids to be about two years apart because mm -hmm. apparently. There's, there's like the, 
infant newborn time period that's really hard and then there's a, right. a certain point where like the kid starts to do more stuff where like oh you're a person and stuff yeah, you can walk. Um, and i guess i guess there's sort of this this time at, where enough time has passed where the the parents get decide like let's do this again or yeah, whatever so right. it's, uh, there's a transition that occurs but <laughs> but right at the beginning uh, like right now, I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> what, I've, what I've been considering is like people who have twins, twins or triplets or more. Yeah, it's got to be. I like, can deal with multiple entities you, you, like doing gotta, all the things that the babies do. Anyway. You right. got to hire someone at that point. True. All right. Get a helper. You got a few more. You got a few more here. Bazinga X, 20 bucks, toys for the baby. Thank you, Bazinga. You just give, give the give your daughter the twenty dollar bill. Yeah, just a twenty. Just play with that. Fold it like she'll, origami. She'll grow up uh, uh, very toy. successful, very wealthy. Oh yeah, it's good luck in, her. in China. Char Char Chris Sivorong. So what a cool name. Sivorong. Cool. Sivorong. Sivorong. Uh, eight dollars and ninety or eight dot nine nine New Zealand. New Zealanders. New Zealand bucks. New Zealand. What's your opinion on ducky keyboards? I like the way they look. I've never yeah. actually used one regularly. I've never owned a ducky keyboard, but I've heard very good things about the quality, about the craftsmanship, um, and they use uh, Cherry MX switches, genuine switches most of the time. So uh, I like them as much as I can. Yeah, I'm kind of in the same boat. I, I've never had a ducky keyboard, but I've used them before, and they're solidly built, you know, good, good keyboards i mean a lot of keyboards are only as good as the switches they use and mm -hmm. they use a variety of switches but including uh cherries and i think i think they have some other ones that um but anyway yeah i've gone to their booth at, at uh computex yeah oh yeah they're nice type on the keyboards uh, uh next up we have uh cell cell why are you giving us money cell. stop it ten dollars Congrats again, Paul. I've been looking at some upgrades to the PC. Been making more content in Adobe Premiere for YouTube. Ooh. I record mostly 1080, 60, and 4K 30. What what upgrades should I look at? Uh, well, CPU and memory. That's that's what I do too. Like 1080, 60, 4K 30. I try to do one or the other of those. Yeah, I mean, CPU if you're dealing memory. with a lot of video files, then storage. then your storage is, is probably going to be be up there. Um, if you're doing a lot of transcoding, then you, you're going to want a lot of CPU horsepower. So, make sure you have enough so you, capacity on an SSD to actually edit on. Yeah, like dump your raw files and edit from your SSD. And if you can spread the workload across multiple drives, that's even better. So, boot off of an SSD and have your raw footage on a different SSD. Don't even use a mechanical hard drive. And then if you have drive. another one for your cache, that's yeah. even better. Exactly. Um, NVMe is really nice. I forget what CPU cell has. And then of course you want, uh, didn't you have a six core? No, 1700, I, th I think, if he's still using the, the build that we made him. Th then that should be pretty solid for you. Right? I think that had 1700 in it. I thought it was an eight core. My memory's too bad to say. You have to look up the video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but if it is... It's, it's crazy how moving from video to video every week can sort of just destroy your, know. your memory of what you've done in the past but um yeah. that's why you can always look up stuff on youtube and be like oh yeah i remember when i did that thing he has four or five hundred and twelve gig ssds oh, you're good and it was a 1700x <laughs> you're smooth sailing in, the, in those departments yeah, so that's then. pretty nice yeah but i mean look at the the pricing for one and two terabyte ssds has gotten really good yeah uh just don't get a 660p the intel uh mm -hmm. those those are uh they, they get bogged down with heavy reads and writes and not as good for, for video editing. You're fine without NVMe. So dude. what's your channel name? You sell streams on Twitch. It's just sell processing on Twitch. It's just sell processing on Twitch? Yeah. And um, I, does Cell have YouTube? He does. It's either... How's he going to find YouTube or Cell's going to post it in chat right now? It might, it might be Cell. I think he's sell processing across the board. Oh, no. No, he's not. It might be... What is it? What was the name of his show? The one they used to do. Uh, here's how shit is with cell, cell processing. Shit I'm just kidding. I've, I've, I've I made that. <laughs> this channel does not exist. Uh, uh, you're asking what the name of the show was. All right. Point is. What was the point? I don't know. This is there. Right. I don't even know if this. There. Is he posted it in chat. Okay. It's. So youtube.com slash channel slash capital U, capital C, 5, 5, capital W, capital N, KJN, dash, 
Oh no, are those you I's? You need to get a vanity URL, Are those capital so. I's or L's? Alright, everyone go subscribe to Cell. He just posted his YouTube channel in Twitch chat. <laughs> We're gonna and, rate self processing at C55WNJ. Cell very rarely does self promotion, which we appreciate because, you know, that's, that's keeping it classy. So um, when, it, when the opportunity does come up, we like to point that out. Okay. Follow him. Uh, yeah. Next we have. Prophesis says the 660p is fine after the firmware update. It's the QLC, which is not great for heavy loads. So yeah. Hmm. That's. Thank you. Agreed with me and disagreed and then re-agreed with me. But uh, all right, <laughs> any more questions? Let's we need to move to your half of the show. Yes, uh, Corey S. Nine dollars and eighty cents using OG Arctic Panther as inspiration. I have a nine eighty uh, SLI setup, but need to upgrade for a new rig. Twenty eighty or TI. Gretz to you and Mrs. Paul's hardware. Mm. Uh, yeah, I mean the twenty eighty TI is just so, so expensive. freaking expensive. And um, did you watch the recent Linus Tech Tips video on RTX? No. I, did, I don't always watch Linus Tech Tips videos, but certain ones keep popping up. And every once in a oh, while, yeah. one, one shows up frequently, and you're like, all right, this... The algorithm just people, idolizes Linus. The, well, I, I saw some people uh, saying it was a, a good video as well. Um, but anyway, it's about RTX and, and kind of the... How, how it's been eight, eight months now since RTX launched, mm -hmm. and really what are people getting for all of that extra money. Right. And, and anyway. Yep. Uh, yeah, the 2080... Probably where you want to go. There's a lot to say there. Which is also very expensive, but... Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Carl Bennett, uh, $5. Hey, Paul, I was the guy who sent you an email about the t-shirt coming undone at the bottom. Thanks for the new one. Oh. You're very... Someone's <laughs> having wardrobe, sending wardrobe complaints to you. You're very welcome, Carl. If wardrobe you're emailing that to the email address that's on my store, though, that would actually be John, who probably got that and hooked you up mm. with a new one. Uh, and John's awesome, too. Actually, I, I owe John some email responses recently as well. Uh, one Ian, more. Ian Santiago, the last one for Paul's half, $6.37. I was going to spend this on a, on a burger, soda, and fries. Instead, I seek advice. Should I get a graphics card now, 2080, or wait? I have a 2700X and a GTX 1050 Ti. Ooh. Uh, you really want to upgrade from that 1050 Ti. I would wait for Navi, because, I mean, why not? It's almost here. Yeah. Wait, wait till Computex and see what happens there, because you're looking at a week, a week or two for all of the, those announcements to come out. Uh, you know, there might be stuff announced, there might be stuff launched, we don't know. But you'll, you'll, you might have more options, or at least you might know, like, all right, wait another month, and then, and then you'll have more options. Uh, beyond that, though, upgrade that 1050 Ti. If you're not going to drop, if you don't want to drop as much money as you need to drop like, on, like, a 2080, uh, then keep an eye out for some, like, maybe potentially used 1070, 1070 Ti, or 1080. Those are still really good cards and very good upgrades from a 1050 Ti. Um, heck, Vega 56s and Vega 64s have been popping up for absurd prices. It's like you want to write them off like they're they're useless because they are at, at their normal prices, but then suddenly you see one for, like, pennies 200 bucks for <laughs> vega 56 or something then you're like all right well now it's kind of competitive yeah uh but yeah there you can find s some pretty good deals on gpus out there so keep an eye out uh you know don't 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 shy away too much from you stuff just reality check anyway uh let's move on though all right we're done with my half of the show thanks for watching guys hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it uh i'm going to switch to kyle's half of the show link is in the video's description